Good morning! Welcome to Asher and Tarni Time. We are up to Pedic Tezayin. And we're continuing here the Masa Moyov, which is going to be the punishment, the tribulations that's going to come upon Moyov. Now, we spoke about, we spoke about it last year, that Moyov is on the one hand an enemy of the Jewish people, but on the other hand, we saw before that uh, in the last Pedic how the Navi Yishayo was how he was like Libi Lemoyov, his heart was going out for Moyov. But um, there's something like, there's something that we have a connection to Moyov because we spoke about how Mashiach ultimately yeah. comes from Moyach because Mayavis, that we have a uh, Rus, the Mayavis, somehow we find a way out to let him back into Klai Yisrael and Dover Melech comes from Moyov. There are also Lloyds. Um, they also yeah. descend from Lloyd. <coughs> but their main, uh, the main thing that we learned from Moyov is how not to be a coffee toivo. That they didn't allow us to, they didn't take care of us when we were refugees. So the kid will be like, and in this Pedic, you have the Novi Yeshaya actually telling Moyov that if they want to escape, they want to get out of the punishments which are coming their way, take care of the Jewish people when they're going to be refugees. Which obviously they don't. But it's just uh, they're being warned beforehand. So anyway, going back in the story, we had Mesha, who was the Melech Moyov, which, by the way, there's this uh, Mesha Stella. They have that very famous uh, stone. And the Louvre, what is it called in the, this museum? With it, the Louvre. Louvre. Whatever. <laughs> right. So uh, they have this uh, very famous uh, Mesha Stella where they have, it actually correlates with whatever we find here in the Novi, just Mesha describing all of his military accomplishments, which is contrasted with what the Novi is telling him what's, act- what's going to happen <coughs> in the reverse. But anyway, so Mesha, he used to pay a tax to Achov, like hundreds of thousands of sheep, and then he stopped paying that uh, tribute. And it was at that point that Yehoram went with Yeshafot and they came to battle. So anyway, it says, Shilchu Kar. So which means, send these sheep. He used to send this, this tribute. So the Navi is saying, Shilchu Kar. Send that tribute that you used to be paying. Moshe led its rulers of Moab. Misala Medbara, that you used to send from the capital of Moab to the king of Israel. And now he says, send it El Har Bastion, send it to Jerusalem. Send it to Har Bastion, that's where the Beis Hamikdash is. That's where you should send your tribute to the Jewish people. But Lamaisi, you're not going to do it, right? So, you're going to be like a bird that doesn't have a nest. To return back to. It's a terrible, terrible feeling, you know, when you're when you want to come back home but there's no home to return to. So it's gonna be You're going to be like this wandering bird with no place to return, or like the birdlings that are sent away from their nest, so too are gonna be the dwellers of Moyov, which is gonna be wandering around town. Le'arnoin, they're going to be um, transferred, or they're going to be passing Le'arnoin. And that's all going to happen because they were not, they didn't have pity on the, on the Yidin when Melech Ashur exiled them and they were escaping to the Eretz Moyov. And the Moyovim didn't allow them to come to their borders, which we know all too well. This is something that always happens to the Jewish people. It just happened in recent years how none of the countries opened up their borders or else. They didn't even open up for the ships. There's this, like, all right, the voyage of the damned. What is it called? That what is it called? That ship, that uh, that that went from country to country, and no and no country would let us in. By the Second World War, so this all stems from the Moyavites. This concept that people won't allow the Jewish people into their borders all come from our Moyavi cousins of sorts. I don't know. I want to say Mamish cousins, but yeah. Therefore, the Navi says. Hoviu eats asu pelilo. Bring a, bring some advice. Bring a solution. Asu pelilo, do justice. Choose yourself a righteous way. Shisi chalayel tzilech. 
Choose for yourself like a shadow of the night that's going to protect you. And the best way is take in refugees. Sasri means hide. Nidochem is refugees. And when Claudius is going to be running away from Nebuchadnezzar, hide them. Noided al tigali. Don't, don't um, give away the, don't pull the cover of uh, refugees, of people who are escaping from their enemies. Don't give them up. You should know there are other cultures like, where is it, by the Pashtuns? Where is yeah. it that they, that they have this thing to take Echnas in? Echnas that even, uh, that even like there was like this famous story from one of the seals, right? What was it called? This whole, there was this whole story once of these Navy seals who were sent on a mission and there was two shepherds there and they didn't want to kill them. In the end, they, they, they mastered them to the, to, the, no, to the Taliban and then they came after them. But there was one guy, one guy from, who, who escaped and he was hidden by the Pashtuns because they had this cloud that they have to be hidden, uh, that you have to take in refugees regardless which side regardless of which side they're on. You have to protect the refugee. And Yesh uh, Amrim, this is Agav, that they're from the, that they're like from the Ten Lost Tribes, right? There's this whole theory. The point is that they come from, they come from a Shoyrish, from right, Ab- Abrahamic, Abrahamic uh, religion, where they have this club that you have to protect those that are running away. But unfortunately, most nations of the world never did it. These are the Nitche Yisrael, which are going to be running away from Nebuchadnezzar. Moyov, Hevi, Seiser, Lomoy, Mepnei, Shoydeit. But your land, Moyov, is going to be a seiser, should be a seiser, because of those who are chasing after them. Because you know what it means to get chased. So this is what the Navi is like holding them, he's like, he's asking them, he says, you know what it means to be chased. So how can it be that when someone else is being chased, that you're not ready to harbor them and to give them a safe haven? Ki offers are mates, because you know what it means when when you're like suck dry, when you're like office hamates, the, the, so like the dama tamtes, like the ozge kvetch legamra. And you know what it means when you've gone through that, uh, that experience. So therefore, utilize that to care and to share and to be there for others. Kolo shoid, tamu roimes min arets. That means that, um, the, the what? Kaloshoid means that the, that the animals, the udders of the animals, don't uh, aren't giving any more milk. Tamuroime is, is the animals that used to trample on the floor, were gone from the land. So here the Navi continues and he talks about the punishments that's going to come on Moyov. At that same time, Malchus Beis David is going to get elevated in Jerusalem. And that's when Sacherev is going to fall before Chizkiyahu, Vohuchan Vachesed, Kisei, and you should know that when you're going to fall, Malchus Beis David is going to go up high, Vyashav Olav Be'emes, and he's going to sit there. Be'emes means established for a long time, Be'oil David, Shoifet V'doyresh Mishpat, Umehir Tzedek. That means he's going to be somebody who's just, who's going to pursue justice, and he's going to... Mihir Tzedek doesn't mean he's going to give... he's not going to be quick to judge, but he's going to be effective in establishing a just way of ruling. It's going to be a Mishpot Tzedek ve'emes. Now, this Pasuk is a very interesting Pasuk, Pasuk Vov. It has a, it has a very interesting um, Hasidic uh, trip on it. Yes, Revel. Yeah. Come along, Gvald. This is a Moedike Gili, this. Shomanu Ge'oin Moyov, he said, we heard about you Moyov, we heard about you Hori Moabites. Gameoid, your gaiva is off the charts. 
You're right, Shemanu Goin Moyav Game Oid. We heard that your guy is like, wow. Game Oid. Gavosu Goin Oid Evidosu Ruichain Badov. All of your gaiva and all of your greatness, is uh, it's all false. It's not it's an ishtam, it's an ishvur. It's not going to it's not going to come through. Now, why is this so fascinating this Pasik? Because I, I, I saw from somebody who brings the Shem Shmuel. You know, we spoke about that that Mashiach comes from the seed of Moyov. But why is it so? From Benoist Moyev. From But why is it so? Why do we need Mashiach to come from Moyev? You know, we're reading over here that Moyev, the kid moves, they come from their father. They come from, like, why do we need that the seed of Mashiach should come from Moyev? What does Moyev have in them that make, that make it important that the Mashiach the ultimate redemption that Mashiach, that Machaz is David, should have to come through Moyov. So, so, I, so, so, more like uh, Indian from Shem Shmuel, that he says that really, what was the difference between, Stamaz, what was the difference between Shaul Amelech and Davar Amelech? The Gemara says that Shaul Amelech was choyte one time and he didn't uh, he didn't make it through Shalom Melech lost the Melucha Davra Melech Vishtayim Vishtayim was the lesson and uh, you know he got away with it so there's different Terutsa one Terutsa says that what was the difference between Shalom Melech's Chet and Davra Melech's Chet so one thing is that Shalom Melech at Chfeyemfirt Shol HaMelech, Atuch Frenfurt, he answered on his head. Davar HaMelech said right away, as soon as he was held accountable, he said, Chetusi. So, at the Chesilik Mass, he said, Chetusi v'echtoid. I sinned, and I'm going to sin again. Chetusi. He, there's another tenet that Shol, his head was, was in his ability was in, was in his leadership ability to lead the people. Davar HaMelech's chet was personal chet. It was, it was personal uh, tithes, quote-unquote. It was personal issues. But regardless, whatever the point is, is that it was a big issue to have a king. The whole reason why Shaul HaMelech fails, at least uh, superficially, is because, you know, Kaisa wasn't supposed to have a king. That was the whole fight between Shmuel and Avi, was that he was telling them not to have a king. And the Pasuk says... The pasuk "Soim Tosim Olachem Melech" is like a negative that if you're going to say "Niyek uh, Echalamim," that you want to be like all the nations, "Tenul and Melech," that you want. It's like really, Klal is not made to have a king like the like the like the Gentile nations. It's only a b'diever that because you're going to be influenced by the world and you're going to want to copy them. Here's how you do it. Shol Melech, you see, wasn't able to be that king who was, uh, even though. The Gemara says that Shaul HaMelech was a tzaddik and never did anything wrong but this ability to be able to be a king and to rule and to stand his ground and to say this is the way it's going to be that's not something that's inherently a Jewish trait because inherently Jews are Baishonem, Rachmonem, Goim Lech Sodom So how was it that Jews are going to have to have leadership they eventually have to have a king so the Indian is that they, that Moyov Shamanu Goin Moyov Game Oid Gavosu Goin Ev Evrosu Loichem Badov. That means Moyov were tremendous balegayva. They were such tremendous balegayva that they weren't able to come down from the high horse even in the face of destruction, even when they were warned what's going to happen, and even though they were told advice how to get out of it, they still said no. They were balegayva. So in order for Mashiach. To be able to have the power, to be leadership, they had to filter out Epis and Nakuda, Epis and Inyan, Epis and Mashu from Moyov that should come through the Jewish seed, B'derech to give the to give the Jewish people this Inyan, this Mount, the Shemini Shem Shemini of Gaiva, that they should be able to stand their ground. So Davra Melech had to come, had to filter out 
Epis and Akuda Toiva of Goin Yaakov, of being able to stand tall and say, you know, I'm Jewish. This is, if you want to know until today, what's the biggest issue of the Jewish people that filters down till today is this inner self um, um, annulment, this, 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 this not being able to have the Goin Yaakov. Right. Which means that there's a certain gaiva that a yid has to have, has to be proud that he's Jewish. We see it again and again in the world. You see it in, in, in every single day in the world. It's like, what's the whole fight going on at Israel now without going into all the... It's ultimately the fight is, it's always the fight like, can we stand our ground and say, yes, I am, I'm proud of who I am, I'm okay. Yes, I'm could you be okay with the fact to say I'm more like a struggle for the Yiddish Kindle Anyway, Therefore, because of that gaiva nobody is going to feel pain together with them They're going to be crying to themselves because no one is going to be listening to your cries because when you're selfish and you're about gaiva then when you come to cry, nobody listens to you. The moy of kuloi yeyelo. It's going to start by moy of their cries. It's going to end by moy of la ashishe ki chadeshes tegu ach nechoyim. And on the boundaries or on the walls of moy of, which is going to be, which is called kid chadeshes tegu, they're going to cry on the walls, cry on the choymos, ach nechoyim. But you're going to be broken, umlo, because the wheat fields of the city of Cheshbo in Umlo is going to be destroyed. This is like we, we said that this is this this trip from the from the from the Baruch Shomar, right? Kishadmo is Cheshbo in Umlo. He talks about the Eish Yotzer Mi Cheshboin. The clip of Moyov is that the Eish Yotzer Mi Cheshboin that you always keep Cheshboinos. Mm-hmm. You always have a cheshbon. And the end result, I'm going on his uh, way of thinking, is kishad mo is cheshbon umlo. That the end result of cheshbonus is umlo. The bevel, umlo. We have to umlo. Anabach. I never saw Albert Agansi talking about cheshbonus. You know what the result is? Umlo. Gefen shivma bale goem homu. Sirukel, that's the the vineyard, the 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 the, the van the van stock is going to be broken. Ad yaazed nago until they're going to come to a city called yaazed nago to the bimidbar. They're going to be exiled. They're going to be sent out into the desert. Shiluchaisel nitshu. All of their vineyards are going to be uprooted. Avru yam. And they're going to be dispatched to the sea or to a distant place. Alkane, this is an, again. Alkane, Efke Bifchi Yazid. Therefore, everybody from Moyov is Efke Bifchi is going to cry on their destruction of their city. Gefen Shivma Ar Yoveich. I'm going to cry on you, Demosi Cheshbon. So, <laughs> this is also like a very poetic pasuk over here, where he's describing the summer months, that it's a beautiful time, and the Navi is describing how in this beautiful time of the spring, how there's going to be destruction then, which means Yeshayo is seeing the beauty of the city, cities of Moyov, he's seeing the beauty of their fields, the beauty of what was going on, the beauty of the time, and he's seeing the destruction of that beautiful time. I remember once, you ever read this book, um, what was that book, The Lilac? No, very, like in the first, uh, when I was a kid, it was a very uh, Holocaust book, um, The White Lilac, what is it called? I remember Bernhack, it was a book from Bernhack. When I was a kid, it was a famous book about, uh, this lady wrote a story about the Holocaust. I remember like, the name of the book, I think it was called The White Lilac or something. How, like she was in Auschwitz. I don't remember anything about the book, just this piece, which was the name of the book. I was a little kid when I read it. 
how when she went outside, like she went behind like her ba um, barracks, and I think it was Auschwitz, and she saw this lilac growing. And there was like a stream of water in the lilac, and like for that moment, like she took off her her socks, and she was like, and the water was rushing by her feet, and it was this white lilac, and it was like and it was spring, and the world was a beautiful world. Like Mamish behind there, is there was she was in the depth of hell. But in that moment, so she like was like contrasting. So that's what the Navi is doing over here in this psukim. He's saying, "Alken efki b'fchi azer gefen shivma liyover the mosi cheshbon veloilo ki al keitzer val kitzide cheidod nafo v'nesaf simcha v'gil min akarmel." And it's going to be v'nesaf means it's going to be oh yo ye osay for yichle. It's going to be uh, decimated. Simcha v'gil min akarmel. Could you imagine there was a carmel? That's where. You know, that's where the vineyards, the, the, the fields were. That's where the tvo was. And over there, the simcha is going to stop to be about kramim loyirunon. And all of the kramim, the vineyards, is not going to be the sound of joy. Not going to be a kolrino loyiroyo. It's not going to be sounds of like trumpets of joys. Yayin by, by kovim. The wine is not going to be flowing anymore in the yakev, in that pit where they used to... And the ones who's trampling on the wine, making wine, and the sound of the people who are gathered around, and they're like all excited, hey Dod, and they're and they're yelling hey Dod, like like giganga giganga, and hey Dod means like to be ma'oidet, hey Dod, let's do it, let's go, so tetzich freilich, hishbati, I'm going to stop it. Alkain, therefore, gather. Somebody told me you went to one of the. Wine, pre wine uh, one of the vineyards in Eretz Yisrael, one of the winemakers, I don't remember which one it was, <coughs> when they were cutting the grapes, the harvest. <coughs> I have no idea how exciting it is. The Hebrew work worked in the, in the wineries in Eretz Yisrael, um, Yarden or Psagot, I don't know what all the names of the different wineries are. The ones that are real Shem and the Mitzvahs, that are like connected, plugged in Jew, like the Masnachlam place, you have no idea the excitement that goes on when they schnaden up the trauben, and they make them the... Yeah. So, they make them see the dart in the head, see the schlemme beschatter. They bring the lemmele, they take the dart in the head, it's freilich. It's just the Novi describing the sounds of the joy that would go on when we flake dart and quetsch in the van. It's interesting because the Gemara says that it's supposed to be that Stiche is Jaffa for Jaim. Fellows, you have to be and wine. It yes. sounds like comments if, if you talk while you make noise. Here it sounds like more like uh, songs. Alkain mea lemoyov. Here again, he says Alkain. This is another way of how mea lemoyov. This is after the, the Navi describes the destruction. He says mea lemoyov. My innards are for moyov. He feels moyov's pain. They're the enemies. They're the ones who didn't let us in. Like kid mubalechem of moyim, they wouldn't take us in to be refugees. But still, the Navi Yashai says, May I lemoyov? My innards feel for moyov. Kakino riyahamu. Vikir bi lekir cheresh. And my innards within me is crying. Vikir cheresh. And the city of kir cheresh. Vahoyo ki nera. Ki nila moyov ala bomo. And after it's going to be seen that moyov is going to be disgraced. And they're going to be nila moyov ala bomo. They're going to be tired from standing from their place of uh, battle. They're going to come to their bomo. They're going to come to their idols. They're going to come there to pray. It's not going to work. Not going to, not going to go. They're not going to be able to gather the strength to fight against their enemies. Everything that we said finishes off the Navi. That was says Me'oz. That was, that's being said many, many days before it's going to happen. That means all of the prophecies of Yeshai is being said way before it happens. But Hashem, but right now Hashem says, Lemoel Bishol in three years, Kishnei Sochit. Three years, it's going to be time to take back the payment. Vinikla Kvoid Moyov Becholamon Harav. And they're going to be humiliated in front of all of the nations, full of the nation of Sancherev. 
Ushar ma'at mizar loy kabir, and those that will be remain from oyav loy kabir, gunish blam for the ganze zach, not much. Lechaim, lechaim.